Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing some bandana print nails. So to save time, because these nails are a bit time consuming, I already did one side, one hand, and I already got my base colors. So I'm using black, and then I'm using this um, like sheer creamy white. So now, I'm gonna decorate them. Well, I'm gonna draw the bandana print on. I'm gonna start actually, okay, hold on. I'm looking at the other hand that I did already and I'm gonna copy that completely. Well, I'm gonna do it very similar. So let's move this, I'm gonna move this down a little bit. I have a different setup here, wrong one. I have a different setup here. And I thought it would be better. It's a little awkward trying to film it. It would be perfectly fine if I wasn't filming, but uh, it's a little awkward. So I have that white color on this nail and I'm just adding black to the tip. See how far down I went. Okay, I could go a little further down. I'm looking at the other set, by the way, the other hand. I'm not gonna show you guys yet. The other hand is finished. I don't want to show you guys yet. Wait till we finish this one and you can see. So I'm gonna cure this. For like 60 seconds or something. I'm also going to turn the lamp around because when the, la the lamp, the light turns on, it's kind of, uh, all right. It changes the lighting in the video itself. I'm not sure if I'll do a second coat on that or not. We'll see when it comes out. Oops. So now I'm going to start on the thumbnail. I have my palette here. I already have some white. That's the color I'm gonna use to draw in the bandana print. It's, this had turned, that's why it's like, this is like dripping down. Okay. Steady hands, basically. Y'all, it is very late. So. If I sound a bit tired or like I don't know what I'm talking about, it's probably because of that. I also made another video for this on my other channel. So I'm making two little lines like this. Let me just go a little closer. Make sure I'm in the frame because Every time I film and I'm doing like a design that requires me to be, my hand to be steady, I have a tendency to move out the frame. Mainly on my other channel, not really here. So I'm just creating this like little I don't know what shape you would call it. I like a little L, L shape, I guess. My ring light is very bright in my face right now. Because I'm using a different light and because I have a different setup here. I'm using this fold out table that I have. And it's really convenient because it's big Um, but I'm sitting, the chair I'm sitting on is kind of too high for it. It's a little awkward. So I'm creating that and then inside those, well, inside this shape here, I'm just doing some slanted lines. 
for this, you can just look at a bandana. You can Google images of bandanas. Or if you got a bandana at home, I kind of messed that little piece up right there. Hold on a second. I need this like right up out of the light a second. All right, I'm leaving for now. There's like a little tiny, tiny piece that's out, but it's okay. This light is very bright and it's fa like facing my face. So it's a reflection going off the white. So I'm making these little lines like this in here. I'm doing this side, this hand, this set, whatever, <laughs> similar to the other hand. I might make a little bit of changes, but for the most part, I'm going to follow along with what I did on the other ones. Okay, so because... You know what? Where's my dotting tool? I'll do this. What I've been doing is, especially with designs like this, where it's a little, um, it's a bit complicated and you have to have steady hands. And what I've been doing is curing certain parts of it. Like if I, I do a certain part and then I see that I like how that looks but I still have more of the design to do. What I've been doing is curing that, then taking it out and finishing the design. That way, the part I did like doesn't mess up. I don't accidentally touch it and it smears or anything like that. And that's been working well for me. Because sometimes I'll do a design and I like how one part comes out and then I keep going and I don't like it and then it's too hard to remove the part I don't like. So then I gotta do everything over. That's, we don't want that. Okay. So that's what I'm gonna do with this. I'm gonna cure this part because I like it. It's perfectly fine. Um, I'm not done with this one though. Whoops, I still have that nail in there. Wait, wait a minute. All right, so this is fine. I'm not gonna um, do a second coat, it's fine. I won't do a second coat because I'm gonna do a design on it anyway. Okay, so we've got that in the oven. Now, let's see how this one, oh, okay, I'll do something similar to what I did here. So I can't really describe the shapes. I mean, if you've seen a bandana, then you, you know what I mean? Like they have these little like shapes that look like this. So I'm taking a small dotting tool, it's one that has a small side. And then I'm, um, because I'm looking, I'm sorry guys, I'm looking at my other nails as well. Because it's very late, I don't want to overthink this and be here any longer than I need to be. So the first side I did, it took a little long because I was indecisive on what design to do and stuff. Um, and I don't want... I don't also don't want this video to be too long. If I didn't already put the base coat, and if I did both sides in this video, it would probably be like a two hour video. So 
So I was trying to do a little, I put a little bit too much. So I'm just making like these little curves. Over here, I just made like little dots on the outside. And over here, I was trying to make these little curves, but you can't put too much gel polish on the brush or it's just gonna create a little dot. That's not what I want. It's still fine though, but. So well, because I have a different setup, I couldn't use my regular light. And that's why this selfie, this ring light is all in my face. I, it's This one is a standing one and the other one I usually use is an overhead one. But I found when I was, um, I'm just making little dots here. When I was, I had my regular ring light, it clamps onto things, like I can clamp it on a table. But the table kept moving, so it kept moving the camera, so. All right, so I'm leaving this one like this. I'm not done with this one either. And then I'm gonna put this in the lamp, and I'm gonna take the other one out and finish that one. very similar to that yes I should have done this the other way though hold on guys sorry yeah I should have did this the other way it's okay anyway so I'm gonna create more of those shapes that I just created on that other nail I'm gonna do it inside here I made this a little bit more fatter than I wanted to, to be honest. That sucks. So I'm going to create those little shapes again. So I'm gonna create one like that, and then I'm gonna create another one going like this down. Like this. Cute. And again, creating like a half circle. I guess you can say around it. I'm trying to at least. I like how the half circle ones look. Uh oh, okay. We're not gonna do the half circle because I'm messing up on this one. Hold on. <laughs> so I'm just make, I'm gonna make just little circles I'll try to create the half circle on the other one let's move this up this is better and then I can hold this here That's fine. Or should I just wipe that off? Hmm, I can just wipe it off. Let's see, if I like how the other one comes out, then I'll leave it. If I don't, I'm just gonna wipe both of them off completely. Oh, 
Okay, so see like those little rings or well, half circles? Just create around it. I like how these those look. All right. Am I out the frame? I will not even know. <laughs> I'm sorry if I am. All right, so then I'm just gonna put some little random dots around this one. And I'm not even using, like, I'm using the side of the dotting tool, like the side of this dot. So I'm gonna leave it like this. If I feel like I want to add anything later, then I'll do that. But for right now, it's fine. I am exhausted, y'all. Exhausted. I am going to sleep very well tonight. Alrighty. So, I have this one here. I'm going to go ahead and take a top coat. That's a bit much. And I'm going to add some rhinestones to that little part right here. I would have added clear rhinestones, but I've been using them so much that I need to buy more because I'm going to use these teeny tiny ones and I don't have any more tiny ones like this. I've been using them for like everything. Like all my nail designs, I've been using them. And even with these black ones, I had to dig these little small ones out. So I'm going to use black. And I'm just putting this around here. Hopefully I have enough, I think I do. Let's see. I don't know, how many do I got on the other one? Let's count, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I managed to fit seven on the other one. One, two, three, I got six here. Hmm. So I squeezed seven on that other one. I'm guessing. Because all right, let's try to squeeze this. I wasn't even gonna chew gum. <laughs> I was like, ugh. I don't even feel like chewing gum right now. But it is like insanely quiet because it's very late. So there's not even like, you don't even hear cars and stuff outside. All right, I'm just fixing it so that all the rhinestones are straight. I don't know how I fit seven on the other one. I really squeezed them. I really squeezed it on. Okay, so I, um, let me see, one, two, three, four, five. I fit seven. Well, okay. Sorry, I know I'm out of the frame, but all right, so I have this. I'm going to hurry up and put this in there before any of these rhinestones slide off. I'm just putting it in the lamp. And then that's that one. I'm done with this thumbnail for now. The other thumbnail looks just like this one. So I don't think I'm gonna do anything more to this, but let me move this to the side. Now, I'm gonna do another easy one, which is the rhinestones. I'm gonna add rhinestones to the middle of this one. So I'm gonna take top coat, oops, whoa. 
that was a big blob. And I have these like medium size, what I consider medium size in comparison to these tiny and these big ones. Honestly, I haven't really even been using those big ones. I don't, I don't know. They look so big for the nails. I don't really like how it looks. Maybe if I had some extra long nails, it would work. I don't like how they've been looking. Or if I was to do the big stones like this, how I'm doing this, it might be, it might be okay. I'll double check it before I put it in the lamp to see if everything is straight. I'm gonna put it like right to my face, right to my face. I have my contacts on, but it's like, it's almost like I don't. I've had them on all day. And like after a while having them on for that long, it kind of just, I mean, you can still see, but it's, they're starting to get dry and doesn't feel like I can see to my full potential. I wear disposables. So they're good for one day use and I've had them on all day. All right, I'm just trying to make sure I get this straight. The other one I have like that too. I'm not gonna squeeze another one on top. That's how the other nail I have looks too and that's perfectly fine. So this one is done. I'm gonna put the that one I just did in the lamp and that one's gonna be done as well. Happy about that. This is going way faster than the video I made for my other channel. And that's because I'm just basically copying what um, I did on the other, the other hand. So I'm done with the rhinestones. Got that out of the way. And now I'm gonna continue doing the rest of the, when I have two nails left, thank God. So I already have some polish here, let me see. This one is my pinky. I'm gonna do it similar to how, but I might switch it up. My pinky nail kind of messed up on the other one. I'm so upset. I don't know if I'm gonna just leave it or try to fix it. It doesn't look bad, but I'll show you guys when I'm done. But I am upset. So I'm going to switch this up a little bit. Doing it similar to the other nail, the other pinky. But, I mean, you guys will see it when I show you the full set. So with these little lines here, you don't want to make them too thick. I feel like it looks better when the lines are thinner. So this right here is fine. All right. And I'm apologize if the lighting changes. Again, see my lamp is on. It kind of changes, the, I notice it changes the tone. And when I'm filming, I, I can't see that it changes. But then when I go back to edit, I can see. So I'm making those little, oh, this up I think all right well I'm trying to create those little shapes in this part right here but you can't put too much polish on your brush because it's gonna make it thick and it's not gonna look like a little circle well that shape isn't exactly your circle I really don't know what to call that shape so that's fine. I like that. I'm gonna take my dotting tool, this skinny side, 
and then I'm just gonna make some dots honestly I can just dot forever <laughs> I really just like adding little dots it's so easy and simple I've been wanting to do a, a little polka dot set just so I can dot So I'm making those, and again, I'm using this skinny dotting tool, but I'm using the side and it makes it even skinnier and easier. So because I like this, it's fine. I'm going to put it in my lamp. That way I can continue doing the rest of the set and not accidentally mess up that design I already have. And really it just needs like 30 seconds will do. Oops, make sure, oops, I'm so sorry I hit you guys. <laughs> So there you go, there goes that nail. Let me put these together um, while that's in there. Oh, this nail looks bigger, huh? Okay, okay. And I should have did this higher. I'm comparing the nails I did. I guess it's, it'll do, it's fine. I have no choice but for it to be fine. All right. I'm definitely not doing anything over so let's continue on again I'm making more of those little shapes oh I did that different it's okay sometimes just my brushes get little little itty bitty pieces of hair from this towel and those little bitty pieces make a difference because they will get caught up in the design on the nail and I can see it. So I'm doing this. And then I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make like a squiggly one because this one is coming out different than the other one, I'll switch it up just a little. I want this to be, have a little longer tail. And I'm also gonna make this one a little bit thicker. And then I'm gonna do like not circles. It's gonna be like, you just put it this way. Little lines. Like that let's see if I'm in a frame okay my hand is blocking it just little um, lines like this and that's it for this one and then the other one let's see how I'm gonna do the other one do I want to do the same thing yes I'm gonna do the same thing so just little lines down like that like flare it out and then I'm going to put a little dot in the middle and you know what I'm going to put a dot in this one too it's looking a little left out there we go sorry I'm all the way down here so that one's pretty much done too. Oh my goodness, guys, I only have one more left. Yes. All right. So the last one I have is, this is my middle finger. Let's look. All right, I did like how I did my middle finger on my other hand. I did like it a lot, so. Let's do a little close up. So I'm gonna make 
that little L shape, but I'm going to do it in a corner. Um, when I get when I stop chewing, that's when it it gets a little real where I can't have no movement. All right, so I made this little L shape that I did on the other nail, um, on this one. And then, let me see, I'm copying the other nail. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna copy the design, but do it a little differently. So I'm gonna make that shape that I have. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna make it like this, actually. Or am I? Huh. Let's see. I did like how I did the other one better. Eh. I'm going to connect this. That's what I should have did. Not made. Made this so it connects. That's what I'm going to do. So on bandanas, it's like really random, weird shapes. I don't even know, like, I don't even know what to, how to describe it. It's just random little shapes. Wait, am I gonna do that? Um, hmm. Also, if you're using, um, a color like black, where really the only other color that's gonna show on black is white. It's easier if you're using a color like red. Um, it'll look nice and you can use black and white. It just gets a little annoying. It's more, it's just more work to be honest. If you don't mind it then yeah, but um, it looks nice though. If you use like a red or a pink, I've done them in pink before. And then you can do the bandana design in black and white. It looks really nice. It's just a little bit more work. So I'm gonna put a little dot in here. And then let's take my dotting tool Okay, little dot here. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this, flare this up a little more. I do want to connect this. Oh, I don't like how the lines, I don't like what I just did here with those lines. Did I cure this already? Okay. It's gonna stay. What I'm gonna do here is a teeny tiny little shape. One of those little shapes. 
that I've been doing. Yep. I really do like those little half circle shapes on a better than anything. gonna do I know I did the most with this nail I really don't like this though I don't know I might just wipe that off I'm gonna make little of those shapes now am I gonna wipe this off I'm not even sure if it's cured or not that's how Tired I am. I don't know what is what. Okay, it's not cured. I was gonna I was thinking too, why would I cure that little shape there? There's no need to. I need a Q-tip. I don't have one available. See the great thing about gel polish? You see that? You can just take that right off. Because it's not dry. And you don't have to worry about it drying while you're doing another part of the nail. Right. Now let's do this. Let's see. I'm gonna do it a little bit smaller. Hold on. Um There is a little bit of right white residue. Okay, that's fine, I guess. It'll be fine. I'm just gonna do it this way. And let's do this correct. I really don't like it with lines in between. I do like it with the little circles, but it's kind of hard. Let's try this. I mean, what you can do is like make little dots in here, little circles, and then maybe go back like with black in the middle, you know what I mean? To make them open. I mean, to make it a O instead of a full on circle. <clears throat> I'm leaving that. No way, I'm not leaving that. <laughs> uh. Oh. 
yeah i'm leaving it because i am not wiping off another wiping this off another time to be honest with the other set i don't even think i wiped anything off i'm very um I'm very happy the only thing that just took me long is pretty much deciding what type of um how i wanted to do the design on each nail Ta -da! this one is done oh my goodness So I'm going to place them on here. Let's see. I'm going to have to do a top coat. But let's place them. Um, which one does it have? These are all good. This is this one. All right. So it's basically just these three that need a top coat. What I'm going to do is... Um, I just put them in, all three of them, in the lamp real quick. I just want to make sure that the design is dry. That way it's not smearing. Because that kind of happened with the other one I have. I don't know how it happened because I cure in between. But it happened. And I'll show you the effect it gave it. I'll show you that right now. So look at the other one hold on this is the other one you see how it created like a little i kind of like it but i'm kind of annoyed because it's the only one that looks like that you see how it looks like it has a white sh like shadow around the design yeah so that happened on this one it looks a little clouded but um we're just gonna leave it for right now when i go to wear them if I feel like I want to change it up, then I'll do that. So, these are the last three. And my stomach is asking for food, but it is way too late. I do have a yogurt. Oh, I tr I'm trying this. It's like a blueberry and almond yogurt. Oh, that sounds great right now, actually. I think I will eat this. Eat that after I finish here. Yes. So, I'm putting that. And then I'm um, gonna show you guys how the set looks. Let me set this up real quick and let me move all these out the way. Oops. See, this video is almost an hour. Now, had I been deciding what um, design to do, or if I didn't prep it ahead of time, we would have been here for two hours y'all okay two hours i'm just setting i'm setting it up on the little stand I also ordered a different stand because while I do like this, I wanted a stand that's all the way like that's connected. So I got, I did get one of those.
right guys so this is how they look yay i can go to sleep this is how they look i really like them i can't wait to wear them see how this one looks that's irritating but you know my hands won't be this close together so it won't be too noticeable when i wear them and because this is the same size This is the same size nail that I wear with these on my index and my ring finger. So I can switch it up like that. And look how cute. Isn't that cute? It's easier than it looks. It's just a little bit time consuming and you have to just make sure your hand is steady. But you can do it on one nail or half a nail and it will look really really nice in pretty much any color you use but this is it thank you guys so much for watching um i hope my rambling made sense because i am like half sleeping and <laughs> talking and doing these nails i'm a little delirious right now so i will see you guys next time enjoy the rest of your week okay have a great night have a great sleep Take care of yourselves. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.